And one thing, JP, that's normally typical for August is you're starting to see the Atlantic hurricane season be a little more active. And today or yesterday, in fact, we had our first hurricane so far in the 2025 season. Yesterday, just before about 9 or 10 a.m., it was just a tropical storm. It was Tropical Storm Aaron. But then as the day progressed, and even today, it is now a Category 5 hurricane with winds at about 160 mile per hour winds. It is moving just to the north of the U.S. and the British Virgin Islands and even just to the north of Puerto Rico. And that's good because it's not expected to make landfall for them. Now, it is going to go just to the east of the East Coast and just to the west of Bermuda, but this is the first named hurricane. Normally in this year, we at least see statistically a named hurricane earlier on, but this was Aaron. The next one will be Ferdinand and then Gabrielle, and we still have a ways to go. I mean, August and September is peak hurricane season for the Atlantic season, so we'll keep you posted. But for us, we're not expecting any hurricanes. We're not expecting any tropical development anytime soon for San Antonio, but we are expecting more rain. So like I mentioned earlier, we did see some spotty showers earlier today, but the chances continue as we head throughout the rest of your evening. And then Sunday, we're starting to dry out, but the rain chances return next week. So throughout the next few hours, here's your future cast. We're still expecting some partly cloudy skies, but overnight, right before and right after sunset. We're talking about the 8 p.m. to even 10 p.m. time frame. We're expecting a few more showers and thunderstorms to start to spark, and that's partly due to there's still some instability, and we get that daytime heating and that daytime instability from those showers and thunderstorms that you normally see throughout the day, and that's going to spark the chances of some showers and thunderstorms later this evening. But the good news is that sun's really going to start to set. They're going to lose the steam and we're going to start to see the rain chances really diminish. And by tomorrow morning, we're just left with that cloud coverage, maybe an isolated shower closer to Eagle Pass in the Rio Grande. But otherwise, the greater rain chances really return later in the week. But one thing for us tomorrow is it's going to be feeling warm. Although we're not seeing as much rain chances, we're still going to be feeling that humidity. So it's going to be feeling like 102 in some areas, but even in San Antonio or even other areas, we can feel like we're 105 to even 108 at times. So it's still going to have our air temperature be 100 degrees, but you're going to want to stay hydrated, find some shade when you can, and that's tomorrow. Monday, we're starting to see the temperature still on the warmer side, but the rain chances return to the forecast. Over the next seven days, we're starting to see a lot more tropical moisture and just Gulf moisture in general make its way into areas of South Texas. That's why in San Antonio, we do have that chance for maybe in half an inch to isolated inch or two but just to the east, as you get closer to Houston or even areas near Galveston or Louisiana, that's where you're starting to see a few more rain inches of accumulation because take a look at the daily rain chances we can see in San Antonio. 20% starting on Monday. That's going to be Monday night into Tuesday and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and even Friday. The rain chances start to increase. We start to see our air temperature start to decrease because of the rain chances and the cloud coverage. So we'll continue to keep you posted, especially because as we get closer to the multi days of rain, we're going to see a little bit more of our high resolution weather models getting closer and closer. So we'll keep you posted, but not everyone's going to see the rain tonight. And if you don't, don't worry, we have plentiful more chances.